Hello, good evening, or should I say Merry Christmas evening? Well, we're out the front of our home, giving you a, a belated Christmas greeting in addition to the one I put up this morning. Here in the um, Philippines, Christmas Day is a very quiet day, really filled with family members going through the motions of the tail end of Christmas, which is eating, being merry, and sharing time together. And like all relationships, they're always somewhat strained at this time of the year. Often many breakups happen in the West at this time of the year. The end of the year, the new beginning of a new year. And therefore we're reminded that relationships can be somewhat fragile. Where we think we have a strong and meaningful relationship, we often discover over time that it isn't quite the case. And many of you guys contact me and send me emails to that effect. We often hear videos talking about age difference, young girls marrying old men, or maybe old men marrying younger women. It should be the other way around. Because in reality, that's what it is. Some of us may avoid things like menopause if we have an, a younger wife as opposed to a more mature wife. So there are some benefits and some non-benefits. Of course, if you have a young lady who wants to experience the start of the relationship day after day after day, then you have to have the stamina and the resources to maintain that kind of party act atmosphere in her life. But if she's a more mature lady, say 35, 40, when you meet her and you discover that she's had a hard life before you came along, maybe a couple of kids, maybe just a hard life in general. She then discovers that by living with or marrying a foreigner, her life will change indeed. You may well find that she's had her newfound boyfriend come husband build her a home. And likewise, life will have changed because before you came along or he came along, they didn't necessarily have that. They probably lived at home or in a family member's home. And therefore, once they get a taste of the good life, they may well work out that after a period of time that the money that now flows into the home isn't maybe as much as she wanted. She thought life was going to be even better. And there's certain hap there certainly happens, I'll get it right eventually, there certainly is a situation many times I've, ne I've noticed that once you establish a certain level, it's never enough. You know, you can put kids through college, you can send them off on different courses to better their future. You can buy her nice clothes, you can build a nice home. But there comes a time, I think, in their lives also, where they stop and think, oh dearie me, I'm with an old man. And therefore, there's an awakening in them to think that they could have had better choices in life. But they chose you, remember, and therefore you are quite happy with what you've got, but maybe they're not so happy with what they've found. Then you have the disastrous case of situations where you see guys online advertising that they're selling their home, moving back to the States often in the case, 
or maybe back to the UK or Australia. But that sort of tells you a story, an unwritten story of where relationships sometimes fall apart, where the expectations of you is somewhat different from hers. Hers is an unlimited opportunity to experience all of the things in life that she has often wondered what it would be like to have. And then only to discover that there is a limit to everybody's wallet. So be very careful when you plan your life out, that you plan it out with the idea that nothing is forever. There is a situation where you do see, I watched a channel this morning where a young lady who sadly lost her partner through death uh, is planning another reunion with another American. And I wish her good luck. Hopefully this one won't die so quickly. I say that tongue in cheek as I often uh, apply my sense of dry humor. But it is important that you recognize that sometimes we just become too old for them. We don't see that our age and our wisdom just becomes more mellow and becomes more centralized to a, a more positive approach to life. When they really want a life that is expanding and the future looks bright. And of course, unless you have an unlimited resource coming in, the future is whatever we make it at this level. And therefore, we cannot make something that we haven't got. And of course, trying to explain that to your Filipina is an uphill battle. So I wish you all good luck in doing so. But just remember, it isn't all roses. Sometimes it can be quite challenging and therefore beware. Beware of all the hidden clauses in your agreement. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I hope that you have a lovely Boxing Day overseas or a normal day here in the Philippines tomorrow the 26th. Bye now.